chance you'll like the other, but also tri stage has got like a super dedicated chill scene. All right, man. So Reach is gonna go with the Link this time. No, no more Pichu. All right. Uh, I like. It. I think Link is so good in this game, man. Uh, he is. He has tools. He. It's like in Smash Four, he got like Sakurai's blessing, man. This is a character that, like, super early on, I'm not gonna lie, I pegged him as one of, like, the worst characters in the game. I just didn't see what this character had. And then, so many players came forward and showed that he has solid tools in neutral, he covers space really well with the remote bomb, It's and he has tons of kill potential. Like, this yeah, is still definitely. the same link that we remember from Smash 4, where damn near everything in his kit could potentially kill. So, does, do you know if Winner of this makes top 8? Uh, top 8, yeah, it's in the bottom, all right, Okay. Yeah. Curious, yeah. So we're um, moving along with today's bracket. Yeah, definitely. And MK Leo himself, uh, best player in the world for Smash 4 and, and contender for best player right now, he said Link is top three. So this character has a lot to show. And um, one of our local. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that now. This uh, Rishi is popping off. <laughs> that up is so powerful, man. It's so strong. It has such good reach to it, too. And the, and the fact that. Bomb. I love the remote bomb. I know, it's such a level up for his kit, man. Like, sure, you can't have more than one, but, like, just having having a bomb where it controls how, when it can blow up is just so good for him. He can hit it as well and, like, send it towards you and stuff. Yeah, that juggle play that we see Yurishi doing with his up air and the neutral air, there's tons of moves in Link's kit that he could use to affect that angle. It lets the bomb be super versatile in what it's doing, and more importantly, it's a regular item, so when you Z-drop it, it still has an active hitbox. Not a big one, mind you, but, it, like, it, it works for doing, like, basic stuff. And like more, that, yeah. Most and importantly, setting up recovery. Like, and if, if you've ever been on Twitter, ever, you'll see like some of these crazy Japanese players just pulling off um, crazy easy drop item bomb like, confirms that leading to up B somehow, you know? It's awesome. But we just gotta see how polished this Link is looking right now. It's looking so good. Uh, Malcolm, you have to find an answer. I'm not gonna waste so off just yet, but the, the shoulder bash taking first stock. And since Rishi's at 0% now, he can do the, the laser thing with the sword. Yeah, I, I love that feature about it. It's so cool. The remote bomb, man. Freaking wonders. I kind of wish that there was a way for, for Link to really make use of the uh, the blade beam that he gets. Oh, oh, oh no, he God, died for it. That's <laughs> Malcolm is laughing it off, man. That would have been crazy. And there are the Z-drop combos, man. Back air Z-drop. Like... I, I'm a sucker for item play. I love characters that are able to spawn something and who can make, like, really make a good use of it. And the fact that the bomb itself has so many different types of uses, but then in and it of itself just being Z drop to extend combos makes it like, so much fun to watch. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, man. And I love those recoveries with the... It just goes to show how much Rishi has been putting into his character. Like, we thought it was a Pichu man, but now after, after some time he's, he's going to Link and um, picking up all the tech like, like, pretty quickly. I think it's just a matter that Rishi is, has such like a pedigree of playing multiple Smash games at a high level. Yeah. That like he's able to play different styles of characters. And but he's there. not perfect. <laughs> no one's perfect, man. And yeah, he was before Smash God, showing us why he was a Smash God. Solid air coverage. Wario, even though Wario has really good air maneuverability, he's not able to get out of that. Yeah, it's just like he's such a he's such a big frame. And and like since Air Dodge got the universal nerf, it's like not as um, hard to juggle him, you know? Right. Yeah, he has really good air mobility, but like, you can't spam air dodge in this game, man. You can't get back on, back to the level for free. Yeah, characters that can assert air control and like, just keep you from landing are so strong. Smash yeah. was the pick for game two, okay. I can see why it's gonna be a bit easier to get past Link's projectiles at the center platform. My one gripe with the stage is that it takes time for it to center, like, when, because there's no hazards, it's like, it's so awkward, man. Yeah, it, it's pretty funny looking. <laughs> right, here it comes. <laughs> Alright, I find it interesting that Malcolm tried to rush Rishi right in the beginning. I don't particularly agree with it, especially as Rishi's shown that even for playing a character like Link, who normally Link would be a little bit more passive, like try to zone out and then combo in if the opponent does find themselves in, like, yeah. Rishi's just be going all in with this, this combo in. Look at this! God, this is ridiculous. Malcolm needs to find an answer quick. He is down a game in the best of three set. Gotta find something, man. With, this, uh, with the seven minutes on the timer and three stocks, it shouldn't be impossible for him. And he took a game off late today. His Fox, not his Roy. Plus, with that um, 
uh, extended timer, it's going to be a lot easier for them to get WAF more than once. Yes. The fact that we're also playing on three stocks, it makes a big difference. On top of that, the uh, I believe the timer has been changed on like the values of WAF going from like full, like from zero to full, and what value half and like a third charge has, whatnot. I didn't know that. Well. It's WAF is different, and it's, it's it's strange. And we've seen it even from Malcolm earlier that you can get confirms out of it uh, a lot easier now. Yeah, right there, you look for the downer to the, to the waft, not to find it. It would have definitely would have killed. And also, speaking of which, the bike can kill now, and so can his bite. So, Wario is definitely packing more kill power than he was before. Just gonna see. Oh my missed god. <laughs> Either he missed the tech or he actually sent himself too fast at the ledge in order to tech. I, I think he just missed the tech, man. I don't think he, I think he wanted to go past the ledge, but it just went right into it instead. Unfortunate. Yeah, Malcolm will take that any day of the week, man. Most definitely, especially because he's sitting at... Look at the percentage that he's sitting on. That's not going to kill, but he's already... He's got to make the stock last if he could ever land. <laughs> not even going to be able to do any percentage on that stock, though. Yeah, he was at a very high percent, so it was getting a bit hard. Because uh, you get launched so far and you get put into disadvantage state. But right now, Malcolm carrying his advantage so, so well. Not gonna, he's going to drop it. Um, he's at the neutral. But look, the at fight, man. look at how Malcolm's pressuring the shield. Like, he's just throwing out all the moves, and now Rishi's forced to have to play off the ledge again. <laughs> that was pretty slick. Just throw up the level. And something I like about, uh, about the bite a lot in this game is that it heals you. Which, like, with the Wario's, like, um, big weight, a little bit can go a long way. Most definitely, especially if you, like, you force your opponent to shield often, which we're seeing Malcolm is accomplishing, because then he could just constantly go for it. That was a really crucial punish he just missed. Malcolm would find the backer there. Send stuff up for off stage. That's what he wanted to do the first time. He DI'd up that time, was at a better angle, was able to recover. Okay. Yeah, not gonna be able to challenge the uh, up B there. Good stuff to reach you with the beefy up B. That's what we still call it, at least. Look at this bomb coverage! It is so good, man. The one fault of the bomb can explode it if your opponent's holding it. That would have been so dirty. The up tilt roll read. Rishi's thing with the lead now. Malcolm in a, in a dire situation. He has to find an answer. And like I said, that bike kills, man! Not only that, but take a look at Wario. Oh, Malcolm yeah, he's sitting glowing green. Oh, jeez. Oh, a bit more percent, he will be in the range. Oh. You don't want to see it like this. Yeah, oh, you do. God. Especially if you're Malcolm. <laughs> oh, my God. The up air to walk. The classic, man. It's such a good confirm, too. There's it nothing Rishi so could have done. Oh, look at Wario. He's so <laughs> swabbling on the floor. I hate this character aesthetically. He just... His, uh, his, I, I can see why. It's... it's He's like so weird and round. <laughs> <laughs> he is round. And also, his teeth are like, like massive. Yeah, they're big and they're like oddly too white. Like Wario brushing his teeth, you know, seven times a day apparently. I keep them pearly whites. And I don't think I don't think garlic helps with the teeth too much. So no, no, it does not. <laughs> So we should really put some thought into what's going on here. As far as the bands go, getting Kalos and FD off there. Yeah, because it, it did feel like he did have more of a control of that the set. So this stage pick will be very big for him. He's going to go to Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay. I mean, we, we saw him perform very well on this in game one. So. Yeah. This Not is really the, the new Smashville. It is. <laughs> Can you believe people want the band Smashville after we've been starting there for four years? I crazy I, man. Man, I never liked Smashville. I love <laughs> Animal Crossing, but I hate that stage. I'm so glad that it just sort of sits there to the side. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am glad we have PS2 legal now because the music is on the stage is awesome. Yes, that's legit the biggest. We gotta we gotta make it a rule where you can only play Steven Battle on the stage. Well, I don't know about that. That's a good track, but there's so many good tracks on this. <laughs> All right, so game three breaks out and. Fairly even damage on both sides. It looks like Rishi wants to try and bring this battle to the ledge, but I feel like he's got to be careful with that because a lot of the pressure we saw Malcolm build up onto Rishi's link was when he was sitting at the ledge. Yeah, and it does seem like Malcolm isn't changing too much, just making the, the correct plays now. So if, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Like 
back air is so big and it's, it's much faster now. It has way less aerial aerial lag once you throw it out. Yo, did you see the angle of that boomerang? Yeah, it went like it, it went like up the stage. Yeah, it actually made like a straight <laughs> 90 degree turn upwards. I did not know that that could do that. That's Good old physics. And the bike, the was that a, it was like a snipe with a bike. I love item play. Yeah, this game is great. <laughs> And Wario with the lead is scary because he is building up that walk. He is he is heavy. He will take any damage he can. So it's, Rishi has to find a way around this. Uh, get the stock. Uh, reset the situation. Now, and a lot of the success we saw Rishi garner from game one was he was just keeping Malcolm in the air. He never really gave him an opportunity to uh, find the landing. And if he did, he ate a lot of percentage because of it. We're, we're kind of seeing the same thing here, but I think Rishi needs to focus a bit more on just like ending out these stocks just because Malcolm gets so much off of letting a stock linger. And even if he doesn't build up a lot of percent, he's still building up walks. Yeah, and with Link's like, insane kill power, Rishi has to think about the next stock too because he will still have this waft. He hasn't used it yet. It's going to be so crucial if he can nail it or not. And that up air, we're going to see what the deal. Rishi not down by a whole lot. Nothing he can't bring back with a few confirms. But Malcolm not going to let him have it that easy. And the waft, that's not going to kill. But that's a whole lot of damage. Plenty is sitting at 94 now. And that's still fairly early on in this match. Both players. I mean, Rishi's bleeding a little bit here, but relatively speaking, this is still at the midway point. There's plenty of time for Malcolm to grow a pretty strong loft, if not get it one at full charge. And if we talk about that quickly, how he did a Z drop into a tech roll, that, was, that looks so cute. Yeah, like Malcolm has neutral down, but Rishi's on his tech skill. And the bike, that's so scary. On ledge, trying to extend the hitbox with the up smash, not going to find it. Rishi's going to roll back on safely, get back center stage. That was a cute play, and I feel like that's something that we haven't seen a lot of from Morios lately, is using bike to extend hitboxes. There's something that we saw a lot more of in the, in the previous iteration of Smash. Yeah, with his uh, waft and uh, smash attacks on the ledge. This is so scary for both players. Th th these stocks matter, you cannot throw them away. The F-Tilt, just gonna <laughs> just duff him in the face, man. That's literally a slap in the face. It's such a good move. It's such a weird move, too. It is one of the newer additions to his kit, but it's so quick and so strong. What did he have that have before that? Like a punch? Yeah, it was like a... Yeah. He like stuck out his hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think Malkin is working on uh, second stage Waff. Maybe even his, uh, his final form if he can, <laughs> if he can uh, stall enough. He's going to have to do it on his last stock, though. And we're back right where we started that last stock. 30, 30, 40%. Malkin at zero. Putting him at the ledge. If Malcolm really wanted to expect the process of getting himself to walk. No, never mind. We'll what? Good eyes keeping Rishi alive, though. And I love these dashes coming out from Malcolm. His, his spacing is just so good. He has a it's really good for baiting, too. Yes. Especially because, like, Wario's initial dash is so stunted. It gives you a good amount of space to dash dance. But look at this. Rishi's still this staying alive. Ability. Rishi needs to pull out a trick oh. now. It's now or never, but the f tilt going to whiff slightly. That was so dangerous because Rishi didn't even have his bomb to assist in recovery. Malcolm was holding on to it. Yeah, man, Rishi's recovering high. He does not want to have the chance of getting spiked right now. That would be scary. Up air. Not going to find a second one. Looking for it, though. And now Malcolm's doing what he has. He's been maintaining a solid game plan of just not giving Rishi any room to breathe. He doesn't have any time to set up any of his projectile play. And this is suddenly scary. Yeah, this is Link with max rage. Ooh, Rishi, what are you doing? Yo, he was wilding at the end of it. All right. <laughs> Going sicko mode, man. <laughs> he wanted it. But Malcolm managed to clutch it out over. It was a really tight game at the end. And that was so close. It, Rishi was so he was on the verge of the comeback, but he's just going sick of mode right there. Like, what are you doing? He actually was just like broke free. <laughs> that.